evening, Commonwealth, and thanks for watching the Channel 2 News. I'm Chris Nelson. Let's take a look at tonight's top stories. A three-year-old boy drowns in a tragic accident in San Roque. Also tonight, protests in Hong Kong are hurting CNMI Chinese tourist arrivals. And September 30th creeps closer and closer. What will it mean to the CNMI economy? In sports, the NMI gets one, but the other team won. Stay with us. These stories and more are next. Forty-eight hours. That's all we get in the week. But those forty-eight hours? We try to make them last forever. How? By filling in fast with all the right stuff. With a lot of laughter. A little drama. Some adventure. And a whole lot of love. Dad, Mom's here. It happens pretty quick. Bye, Dad. But it's cool. Because the rest of the week, we talk about our plans. You want to go to the beach? On how to make the next 48 hours last us a lifetime. Choose the right seat and reduce the risk of injury to your child. Infants need to be in the rear-facing car seats. Keep them here until they outgrow the seat. A forward-facing car seat has a harness. This will help limit your child's forward movement during a crash. As your child grows, you can move them into a booster seat, but make sure they are in the back seat. Before using a seat belt, make sure the belt can fit your child properly. The lap belt must lie snugly across the upper thighs and the shoulder belt across the shoulder and chest. Keep your child in the back seat at least through age 12. It's the safest place. Buckle up, every trip, every time. Bubblegum Shrimp Company opens daily at 11 a.m. Located on Beach Road in the heart of Garapan. Hafadeh Tirwami and good evening Commonwealth. Today is Tuesday, September the 17th, 2019. Tragedy in San Roque. The Department of Public Safety reports that a three-year-old boy drowned yesterday afternoon in San Roque after falling in a septic tank that had been covered with plywood. According to the report, victim had been playing outside the family home when family members noticed he was not in sight. They searched around the house and discovered him submerged in the tank. An officer arrived at the scene and conducted CPR until medics arrived. Victim was transported to CHC where Dr. Edvalson Tanuja at CHCC listed the cause of death as drowning. Local businessman and MVA board member Jerry Tan says a trifecta of challenges have put a lot of pressure on arrivals to the CNMI from China. Uh, so this is uh Probably one of the, if not the most difficult year that, uh, as far as China market is concerned. So we're hoping that things would improve, but in the meantime, we're struggling. The current situation in Hong Kong directly impacting the CNMI. Hong Kong has become one of the important ways that Chinese tourists get to and from Saipan. And the recent protests in Hong Kong have put a lot of pressure on the airlines that fly in and out of there.
it's not good for anyone mm -hmm. because we do have flight coming from China. Not sure if you know, uh, United uh, last flight will be uh, discontinued by uh, October 14. Uh, we just lost Hong Kong airline this month. And we still have Hong Kong Express, but low factor is uh, very low. Um, so, so definitely this is uh, not uh, good news. The, you run the charter flights from Beijing. What does that look like over the next few months? We heard Tom say in the meeting that their load factor is as low as they've ever seen it. Yes. Um, I think China market, we faced the uh, biggest challenge this year. With two weeks to go before thousands of workers' contracts expire, the visitor industry waiting and hoping for relief. When the CNMI controlled immigration, non-resident worker contracts started and stopped throughout the year. When the feds took over and implemented a cap, virtually all of the non-resident contracts started and stopped on the same day, September 30th. With major changes to the application process and coming on the heels of Super Typhoon U2, CNMI is now in danger of losing thousands of workers on the very same day because of a slower than previous renewal process. The visitor industry puts most of the dollars into the CNMI economy and that is threatened. Our industry is very um, uh, human resource heavy and um, if we do not have the people to properly uh, you know, um, service our, our, our visitors and our businesses, then we will not have um, uh, an economy because of that. So people need to understand the importance of having our CWs renewed on a timely basis, um, but we continue to have issues in Washington, D.C., and, and we are working on it. Uh, the administration is certainly working on it you know, weekly. Governor Torres recently told KSPN he has written to officials in Washington asking for more time to get the renewals done. Part of the delay was a CNMI produced wage determination survey that is being used by the U.S. Department of Labor and this adds steps and time to the employment renewal process and time is not on the CNMI's side. We have lobbyists in Washington D.C. that are doing everything that they can and meeting with as many people as they possibly can um, to make them truly understand what the impact will be to our island. But like, you know, was, uh, as was discussed here, it's very difficult for, for somebody who has never been, who doesn't live on an island, who's never probably never been on an island, never owned a business, um, to really understand what you know, what they're doing to us here. They have to be here to, to see uh, what the impact, what impact um, they're doing to, to our people at the end of the day. It's not just the businesses, it's our entire population. So we have nowhere to go. Legislators have divvied up $3 million of casino money in a bill that now sits with the Governor Sally Lemus brings us the details. The Saipan Northern Island delegation held a House session yesterday for Bill 2128 that detailed on appropriations of the $3 million that came from the annual casino renewal license payment. We have several uh, uh, items that we have appropriated. We have appropriated to uh, programs, uh, uh, very good programs, uh, non-profit organizations that are, are assisting our, our community, such as, uh, as an example, uh, the Center of uh, Independent Living, uh, which it is a program that uh, caters to uh, our people with disability. So it, it's it's a good program, and we we uh, we were happy enough to appropriate uh, some funding to assist them with the program. The House allocated ninety-four thousand dollars for the Center for Living Independently, while allocating funds for other government agencies, such as the Saipan High Education Financial Assistance Program, Saipan's Mayor's Office, and more. We also add an additional of about 750 in total uh, to PSS again. PSS is in dire need of uh, uh, help. I know that uh, they, they encounter a lot of damages, our schools, uh, most especially on the south side of the island uh, from Typhoon, Super Typhoon U2. They are still um, in a recovery mode as we all are. Sablon elaborates on how they are keen to get PSS back on their feet, which they have included to the amendment. I know that PSS is uh, 
working very hard with their with their claims with FEMA, and uh, we are working closely with them uh, uh, to find out what more of assistance we can assist. I know that the FEMA uh, claims are only for 90 percent will be taken care by uh, FEMA. Then we, the local state, have to take care of the 10 percent uh, local match requirement. So uh, when all when all those claims are uh, uh, have met the process and we realize the funding already from FEMA, we uh, we will then again look for the funding to to uh, uh, match the ten uh, percent. The casino license renewal fee payment was fifteen million dollars. Ten million dollars will go to the administration, which includes three million dollars going to PSS. Each precinct was allocated three hundred thousand dollars for their projects. This is Sally Lemis for KSPN News. Coming up, a tropical depression has left some tourists depressed as the CNMI's number one tourist attraction has been closed the last few days. That changed today. We'll go into that story after the break. plan you're looking for at IT&E. Stay connected with the strongest, widest, and most reliable network in the Marianas. Stream, share, play, shop, and surf the web with super fast 4G LTE data. Whether you need just a few gigabytes of data to get by, or if you want to go further with unlimited data, there's a plan for you. You'll always get the best price. Visit any IT&E store or call us to learn more. IT&E. Explore your world. Okay. Can you please? Attention passengers of flight AJ3004. Your flight has been delayed. Uh, Woo! It's the flavor that makes you go woo. McDonald's new spicy barbecue glazed tenders and chicken sandwich. Made with tender, juicy, all-white meat chicken. Available in four, six, or ten-piece chicken tenders. Try the spicy barbecue crispy chicken sandwich, too. Winigi PHA Pharmacy in Gofadahi, Ihinim Lomu. Our complete line of pharmaceuticals and lowest prices ensure you get the treatment that you deserve. Our compassionate, friendly, multilingual staff will take the time to get to know you, explain your medications to you, and answer any questions that you may have. We accept most insurance, but in case you don't have coverage, we offer cost-effective generic drugs. PHI Pharmacy, your lifelong partner in health. PHI, the pharmacy you can trust. Welcome back. You're watching the Tuesday night edition of the local news. One of the CNMI's major tourist attractions reopened today after being closed since the 12th of September. Rough seas and wind part of that closure decision. It's not just a one-way trip that we consider. It's both, both ways. So when we see the weather, like for example, if we see the weather deteriorating, we don't want to bring people out there knowing that maybe in an hour or two when winds are supposed to pick up or something, we're not going to be able to get those, pe those people off of Monagaha. So we have to think ahead of the game. Scott Eck is the operations manager for Pacific Subsea, the company that owns and operates the Coral Queen, a Monagaha transfer vessel that is leased to Tossie Tours. Coral Queen can take 123 people at a time to and from Monagaha, but when the wind and swell comes from the south, approaching the pier can be dangerous. Eck says the decision on whether the Coral Queen can run or not starts early in the morning. Also, the direction of the wind, the direction of the swell, and the amount of wind. Um, you know, every vessel operates a little bit differently, and our captains are very experienced, and we trust them, you know, implicitly with the vessel and all those lives. So we trust their decision. They go out in the morning before the start of the day, uh, you know, 6 a.m., they're up and they're on their way out to evaluate the conditions. And if they feel that the conditions are safe and they can safely operate, um, then they make the decision and communicate with Tossie. Do you ever feel pressure? People come and 
most people want to go to Monagaha one day that they're here, and most people are here three or four or five days. Monagaha has been closed the last few days. Um, do you guys ever feel pressure, or do you ever feel pressured to um, to take the boat out there? Any pressure we feel, I think, is what we put on ourselves um, as operators, as captains. We put the safety of the vessel and the passengers um, as our priority. So the pressure, um, yeah, it might wear on us a little bit, but it doesn't influence our decision. You know, the decision is, is purely based on safety. Mobile gas stations are sporting a new exterior look, and the company says new formulations will give you better mileage and better performance. Today's Synergy fuel launch is yet another example of Mobile's continued commitment to invest in the island of Saipan. Ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one! Ribbon cutting was held this morning in Garapan. Mobile provides fuel for 11 service stations in the CNMI station. Owners were up on the stage today. Jimmy Ha, president of Mobile Oil Mariana Islands. Our Synergy range of gasoline is backed by extensive technological innovation uh, and designed to help ensure that the customers get the best performance and driving experience. Two grades are available. Mobile says the new formulas will boost fuel economy and help clean engines, and the stations have a new look, too. Mobile says that will help consumers focus on the fuel quality and marketing messages. All right, coming up, the highlight of the show, perhaps, Bob Coldine on deck, swinging his bat right now, and he'll take a look back at one of the summer's most memorable moments. Sports, next. Faster, easier to use. With live TV, recordings, video on demand, and streaming apps, all in a single place. When you're looking for something new, recommendations are tailored to you. Voice-powered, personalized results to find what you want faster. And the unlimited potential of smart home. The new experience from TiVo is here. As the world's global temperature increases, sea levels are rising. The warmer temperatures cause ice on continental shelves to melt and seawater to expand. We are especially vulnerable because sea level doesn't rise evenly around the world, and it will actually be higher here in the Sinai. Already our shorelines and low-lying areas are experiencing coastal erosion and landward flooding during severe storm events. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. There are plenty of things we can do now to prepare for these changes. We can elevate buildings and build further away from the shoreline. Planting beach morning glories and mangroves will reduce coastal erosion. Healthy coral reefs protect our shorelines by buffering against strong waves from severe storms. We can also make an emergency plan to use with our families in case of severe weather events. Climate change is scary. But with an informed CNMI, we can work together to reduce our risk to these changes. Half a day, I'm Dr. Dennis Williams, eye surgeon and physician at the Marianas Eye Institute. Smoking can harm nearly every organ in your body, including your eyes. Cataracts are a leading cause of blindness in the world, and if you smoke, you could be doubling your chance of forming them. Now the eye has blood vessels in the back of it that supply the retina, which is like the film in the camera of your eye, and smoking can cause a constriction of those blood vessels and affect your vision severely, so much that you would lose your driver's license. The good news is smoking is controllable and quitting now can significantly help. Fortunately, these same studies have shown that by stopping smoking, you can decrease this risk in the future in spite of many years of smoking. So I encourage you to stop smoking as soon as you possibly can. Many eye issues can be treated right here on Saipan. Come see for yourself. This has been Dr. Dennis Williams of the Mariana Science Institute.
Quinn Sports, Sports fans. fans. Point of sports fans, international goals for the Northern Marianas soccer teams are few and far between. So we are quite pleased to be able to show you one. In Jakarta, Indonesia yesterday, NMI U16 boys in white versus Brunei, Kotaro Goto loads up and sends a rocket shot to the back of the net for the NMI's only goal of this U16 Asian Football Confederation qualifier. The NMI, though, lost this game 5-1. to one. All right, next up, host country Indonesia. We're going to play them on Wednesday. And one of those international goals belongs to Sun Jun Tenorio. Of course, he's no longer on that U16 boys team. That's what happens when you grow up. You move on. Make headlines somewhere else. Sun Jun Tenorio is a freshman at Suffolk University in Boston. This weekend, he scored his school's only goal against Albertus Magnus, losing, though, in double overtime 2-1. Sun Jun scored Suffolk's only goal in his very first game last weekend, too. Over the years, Tenorio scored international goals and was in our top plays of the week multiple times. And here are some of our favorite Sun Jun highlights. Well, you know, the nice thing about winning a gold medal at the Pacific Games is that you can say you're defending champions for four whole years. Well, here's a look back at a most memorable NMI achievement. When the NMI took three golds and a silver in Samoa this summer, it marked a big turnaround. First ever medals in tennis at the Pacific Games for the NMI. There was no question that Colin Sinclair, an up-and-coming professional, could handle his own. He did. It was the number two player who needed to rise to the occasion to be the difference maker, and he did. Robbie Shore put on at the Pacific Games, Bob. The, the poise of this young man who's 17 years old in pursuing the gold medals and... Uh, in a couple of different events, uh, pretty unbelievable. So, By beating other countries' number twos, the NMI never had to go to a doubles tiebreaker. Some of those number two players from Tahiti, from PNG, they're tough, but Robbie was completely focused, and, uh, and he played amazing. With Colin playing every day, it was important for the other member of the men's team, Ken Song, to come off the bench. Ken Song played an important part on our gold medal team also and uh, you know because Colin Sinclair played every single day for 15 days in a row he was he was dead at the end and uh, early on in the team competition we could you know when we were playing a team that wasn't quite as strong we could give Ken a break uh, give Colin a break and play Ken in some of those matches make no mistake though it was Colin Sinclair who powered this team to the top Colin Sinclair. Now, a lot of people don't know Colin because he doesn't walk around Saipan all the time, but he grew up next door to me here. Any plans to get him over here? I, oh, yeah. He's going to be here. Um, he's going to be here. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's playing in Davis Cup this week. He's in Amman, Jordan, playing for the Pacific Oceania Davis Cup team, uh, whipping up on uh, these other teams. Uh, he, he won both of his matches, 6-love, six 6-love, six and singles and doubles. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. I don't believe what I just saw! Hey, go Carters! Come early and stay late. We have new summer hours for the Seaside Circuit at Mariana Resort. 
Daytime is pretty hot, but evenings are pretty cool and perfect for racing. Check in at Mariana's Trekking and you'll be off racing in no time. Bring your fans, bring your friends, and show your ID for a special off a day rate after 5 o'clock. And check out our other adventures too, like mountain biking, hiking, kayaking, and off-roading. Perfect for groups, perfect for families, perfect for friends. So go ahead, bring your best friend. Mariana's Trekking, your adventure professional for 17 years. So what are you going to do this year? At Gold's, a dedicated fitness studio with a cushioned floor is perfect for group exercise. The cardio room features a variety of treadmills, bikes, steppers, and ellipticals. Fitness machines will help you achieve your goals, and the largest free weight area on Saipan gives you comfortable space to work out. Gold's gym team is ready to help you get to your goals. Try harder. We know you can do it. Traveling or laying over on Guam? Don't wait around. Zip into Guam Adventures at Zipline Park inside the Hilton Resort and Spa. Guides will take you through a series of zips, starting with a mountain course and then zip over the ocean with spectacular views of Tumon Bay. Six zip lines and all deliver a thrilling experience and it's family friendly, so bring the kids ages six and up. You'll love the security of double lines and a new braking system to make riding smoother. The towers are named after the islands in the Marianas. We call it the Island Hopper. Your guides will teach you what you need to know to soar through the jungle with a bird's eye view. Best of all, for residents of Saipan, Kenyon, and Rota, you can book this experience at 20% savings. Log on to GuamAdventures.com and during checkout, use offer code HAFA20. Book it and zip it today. We'll even pick you up. We welcome back Mr. Sun, the high today 88, the low 79, heat index 103, you can see it back up there. All right, the humidity 72%, tomorrow partly cloudy skies, some scattered showers here and there, north winds, 5 to 15 miles an hour, high 87, low 78, seas are falling 4 to 6 feet, sunrise 605, high tide at 6 past 10 in the morning, low tide at 416, sunset at 616. So nice to see the sun and the story about Monaga reopening. I know, it's like... It's things are deal. things are right in the Commonwealth now. We we had we had it's a big we had deal. The tropical depression, which is making some tourists depressed and locals depressed. I know you get depressed when Sunday. No I want to go. Sunday is the time to go to the beach, and you know I can't go to the beach. Couldn't even go outside. So yeah, it's a good story to see Monaco reopen. And five days, uh, five days of it being closed is is. A Big. Well, some of these people, one of the major, you know, their things to do, that's right at the top of their list. That's like the number one thing right. for, for tourists. And right. they come here and it's just in the middle. And they, oh. So with the wind coming out of the north, that makes it easier for the for the big boats to get in. Looks like uh, Monagaha should be open. Um, and weather is looking better next week, I guess. Well, I haven't looked at next week. I haven't even looked at tomorrow. I, well, I did actually, just to write this. <laughs> Same one thing. We'll look at the weather and let you know more tomorrow. But not today, tomorrow. That is new sports and weather. Thanks for watching. Good night.